now with the Razor and the Ember Spirit and aim to kind of get both of these guys online, I can kind of see Alliance sort of saying, well, Spectre's probably going to have a pretty meh time versus the Darkseer uh, and the Enigma. So I think they're just going to uh, kind of leave the Spectre to be sad in the bottom lane and focus on making sure the Ember Spirit and the Razor have the good game and then they can be the tempo controller to make sure Madara gets the space to farm throughout the mid. I'm interested to see how much farm priority they give this Sanking, though. I feel like if you get your Blink at a decent time this game, you kind of like run around with the Ember and the Razor, you can get so much done here. Like, Liquid are going to want to be split up. You know, they're going to want to farm on this Lifestealer and the Morphling. And Mind Control likes to get his own kind of farm as well. Um, I'm, I do like Alliance's Draft. I think oh, yeah. it's okay. They have really good team fight. So, yeah, you know, they've got this team Haunt, fight. Haunt Golem Epicenter. This, uh, this is scary. Yeah, yeah. The uh, obviously the life steal we've already talked about is good matchup versus the Spectre. Doesn't like Razor quite so much though, does he? he struggles struggles with his hero sometimes. Yeah, he does. Uh, it, it's a good Morphling game though. When you, you know if you can turn into the Warlock, you can steal Fate of Bonds. You know, Epi, uh, sorry, Burrow Strike's really good if you turn into Sand King. Even Ember Spirit as well is probably going to be the main focus for him. Getting that Slight Fist Chain. Even the Flame Guard online is really nice. Alrighty then, let's get into it in the first game of this best of three series between Alliance and Team Liquid as they battle it out in the qualifiers for the MDL Disneyland Major. And uh, we're going to start things off with a bit of a slow looking draft from both teams here, but it's going to be interesting to see who comes out on top of these lanes. And uh, I mean, wow. <laughs> Wow, these guys have practiced. <laughs> these guys have practiced. Uh, and then Madara, you can tell who's a stand in here because everybody tipped at once on DH. And then, uh, yeah, damn it, Madara. Still still struggling to get with the team. So uh, so Liquid have sent Matum uh, sorry, Mind Control down to the bot lane. They really want to dodge this uh, Lifestealer Razor matchup. So if you see what they're doing, they're just hiding their lanes at the moment. There. Yeah. Mind Control's hiding in the trees. Um, Matumbaman's hiding on the high ground next to his top shrine. So Alliance, they've scouted, uh, they're running around the jungle as five here, just trying to get some kind of information off the map about who's laning where. Um, you don't really want to be fighting into this, uh, putting this Spectre up against the Life Stealer. That doesn't sound very fun. So if they can get the right matchups on Alliance, I think they should be, should be really happy here. Yeah, yeah, and it looks like so far things are looking good for them. Uh, one thing I'd like to mention as well is that they can actually put the Lifestealer on this top lane for Liquid if they want to here. That is fine because they've got GH on the Enigma. He's going to be taking the Demonic Conversion, so he's basically going to be essentially dragging the creep aggro back to their side of the map up on the top lane. So the Lifestealer is still going to be getting decent amounts of farm and pretty safely at that too. He's not going to have to come right out for it and be in any risk of dying. Uh, but of course, Ooh. they don't want him to lane up versus that Razor as... Uh, Bounties. Alliance, they've won the 50-50. They've got the Razor up against the Life Stealer. That's the dream. Uh, it looks like they've spotted something out as uh, Matuma Man is actually moving down to the bottom lane right now. But they're going to see this with this uh, ward they placed down Alliance earlier on. They see this Darkseer walking down, so they might be able to switch, switch things up if they want to. I think they're probably just going to wait and see... Uh, they're probably going to see the Lifestealer bot and then just say, okay, whatever. I mean, we've gained a little bit of advantage in our lane, so we'll just kind of let it be. The Spectre's not awful against Lifestealer. Obviously, it would have been better to have the, the Razor up against him, but you know, whatever will be, will be. And uh, Miracle on the Morphling versus Quickfoot on the Ember in the middle lane. Uh, I feel like this isn't really a particularly one-sided matchup in either way. Of course, uh, Ember not going to be too happy about the magic damage he's going to be receiving from this uh, Morphling here without the flame guard to block any magic damage of sorts but yeah i, d I don't really see anybody dying here uh, the laning stage is definitely more favored though uh, the hero is just super good against ember especially in these first few levels the morphling is... yeah the morphling is yeah. just much better yeah i mean we are seeing quake for kind of struggle oh, to get in for any cs right now but madara getting low but we'll be okay thank you very much shadow word and uh yeah, it's kind of difficult for them to really bring Madara down. He's a tanky guy, especially when he hits level 2. We're expecting a point in Dispersion. That's just going to make it even harder to bring him down. But Matuma Man asserting his dominance over this bottom lane early on. GH is... Uh, he's trying to do this jungle trick where you deny the range... Oh, it's not really a trick anymore, is it? But you deny the range <laughs> creep and uh, go to farm in the jungle. But Tiger's just following him around, being as much of a nuisance as possible. You know, trying to take some of this Enigma's XP away. Yeah, this is a uh, hero I'm going to be keeping an eye on this game as well, because Sanking, we haven't seen him so much recently. Some people try to make him uh, come back into the meta. Alliance definitely want to try and play around with uh, with the Sanking and try some new things. 
But uh, is it going to be effective or not? Well, that remains to be seen. Uh, we'll go very far forwards here in the middle lane just to get that tango. But yeah, still 5 CS to him and 12 to the Morphling so far. So Miracle really starting with a pretty huge advantage up here. Yeah, he's, he's having a great time. And we've talked about how good of a morph game it is. So if he can get off to a good start, it doesn't matter how, <laughs> how greedy their draft is. You know, this morph can just make space if he gets, you know, say, an E-Blade at a really good time this game. Oh, from Sang King, but he doesn't quite find it. Down in the bottom lane, Madara in some trouble though. Open Wounds is out. Where is this? Well, the Shadow Word is uh, actually on cooldown, but there we go. Uh, does just get enough mana for it now <laughs> with that clarity. Yeah. When you get the level 3 on the Warlock, the uh, the heal becomes so much more efficient. So should be okay at that point. Yeah, but it's, I mean, it's a little bit rough for now. But because that be first wave of Mist CS though, um, Matu is still a little bit behind the Spectre, even though it looks like the Spectre is just being completely forced out of this lane. And as you say, they should reach level 3 soon enough, which makes laning quite a lot easier for them. I, uh, I feel like this is what Tiger should have done since the start of the game. He's Oh, he's accidentally messed up that pull a little bit, which is unfortunate. But I feel like when you're playing against this Enigma, you just constantly pull on the Sand King. Just being anno be annoying as possible. This Razor can just, you know, deal with the Iron Shell Creep. He's not too worried about it. Alright, so a pretty quiet laning phase to start things off. We're actually yet to get first blood anywhere on the map, but uh, coming up to the four minutes mark now. So, uh, you know, that's kind of the nature of the lanes, though, right? Like, you got spe you, when you've got a Spectre Warlock lane, you just kind of never expect anything to really happen. And also, same thing with the Ducks. So he rarely dies on the lane, um, just because of his ridiculous defensive capability and the fact that he's always pushing that lane in. Yeah, if they can get a, a burrow struck off after he surges, then maybe they get a kill, but it's not very likely. The, the lanes are very passive all around. Look, Grim Mid just going to use his haste rune to grab up the double damage rune off Miracle as well. Uh, running past the tower as well, trying to really grab these creeps right the way back here as uh, Miracle. We'll come over and say hi. Wonder this is a little bit interesting. Koikva lost but in the woods, but trust. Oh, he's trying to stack up the uh, the wave. To make what, push what he's trying to do is basically just. Back. He's basically just upsetting the creep equilibrium. Yeah. If, if, if the creep equilibrium just sits in this river in mid, he's losing the lane really hard. So he's just trying to, you know, rock the apple cart as much as he can. Get the creep wave moving. Just try and get CS with flame guard behind the tower. Yep. Let's see uh, the plan. Take this jungle camp quickly with his double damage rune, then TP himself back in. Meanwhile, Tiger still annoying GH right now as. Uh, they're actually kind of even on CS because Tiger's just been stealing that many of his uh, his jungle creeps. And uh, Mind Control playing around as well. Meanwhile, as the bounty runes come down, uh, doesn't look like anybody's really going to die here. The um, Boxy comes down bottom with the static link, but the life is just going to TP himself straight the way up to top. And uh, do the old switcheroo once again. Just even still now, not wanting the life to be against this Razor. This GH Enigma is still only level two and a half, five minutes into the game. It's not not as fast as just jungling straight away because you're denying range creeps instead of uh, getting XP from neutrals, but mm. Tiger's doing a really good job of just following him around and matching his XP that he gets. And there's three heroes here, Tiger. Are you okay? Uh, I'm not sure if this is... Well, they don't actually have vision for him. They, know that they do have a sentry on GH, but they don't want to go for this kill. Three heroes around in the top lane, but Alliance, they're not feeling threatened right now. Have they, have they just agreed not to kill each other for a while? Is this, is this yeah, what's going sure. on here? Uh, very, very chill here. They're just like, yeah, Sand King behind us, three of us here. Ah, it's all right. And we, we've talked about how greedy both teams are. Maybe they have like the, the no deny rule. You know, did you ever do that when you used to start playing Dota straight away? <laughs> like, you, like ask your opponent if you, like, you just didn't want to deny each other. Oh, <laughs> look at that deny. And Sanya on the 60 damage Warlock gets a deny against the uh, ridiculously high damage Miracle in the middle lane. Wow. That's, that's a uh, really early tier one taking though. Even if it gets denied, yeah. this, this opens up so much of the map for Miracle to just push forward in. Like you see, he can just enter the dire jungle here, start taking neutrals if he wants. Yeah. This, this is really nice for him. There's going to be so so much control over this map for uh, for Liquid now, which is not really how Alliance want to play things, but uh, Miracle's actually invis. He might go for a kill on Koikva here. Our scannings. I'm not sure. Koikva gets blocked, so he knows something's up and the gig is up. And Quake will get himself under tower. Although Miracle's going for it here. Adaptive strike out, but Quake makes it to the trees. And with a TP in from the Sand King, Miracle will not chase for any more as he goes back to lane. Uh, well, you know, he might not have gotten a kill, but he's still kind of completing his pressure here in the middle lane. Yeah, they're really struggling to punish him, though. Uh, we talked about this Ember can't really do anything when he starts morphing. They don't have too much hard lockdown. Not until the Sand King gets a blink and they can initiate on the morph. So, 
I also, also want to say that taking this tier 1 mid is really important if they want to take Roche at any time, like, at any early point in the game. Say yeah. if they get, like, the Enigma Eidolons, Morph can just tank it as well with its really high armor. So, could be uh, offering a really good timing for Liquid here. Also, uh, Razor going for the Midas. This is uh, a little bit slower than I was expecting from Alliance. So I kind of wanted him to be the tempo controlling hero, as we said. But then again, on the other side of things, if you do want to be just playing the map the entire time and not really farming at all, then this is a great item because it's going to allow you to keep up with net worth and, uh, you know, not fall behind yeah. too much if you just want to be out playing aggressively and, and, and playing into Liquid the entire time. It, it depends how you want to look at it, right? Like. If you have this Ember Spectre on your on your team, then yeah, like maybe you want the Rays to be doing more on the map, but as the Rays, you don't really want to fall behind this game. Like, you know Liquid aren't going to really want to, uh, you know, group up early with this Morph Lifestealer. <laughs> Their Enigma was going to want to get some items as well, so both teams are kind of just accepting that the game's going to be passive early on. Like, it's eight minutes and we still don't have a first blood. How often does that happen? <laughs> yeah, this is, this is uh, very feet up gameplay, you know? It's the first game of the day, let's just take it easy. Yeah, get into the swing of things, but I don't know. I, I feel the storm is brewing. I feel like Miracle's ready to take off pretty soon. He's, he's going to look towards to get this. He's actually going to Fusal Blade and uh, basically just kick off, hopefully. As uh, Madara, yeah, him and, him and Lifesteal are just kind of laying into each other here. One with the heal with the Lifesteal and the other one just with the uh, Warlock battery behind him. Garoki, Miracle, and GH are all coming forwards here, though. And, uh, well, Alliance do have a decent ward to spot all this out here. Uh, we talked about when they would push. We talked about when they would give Tiger on this sinking space. By the way, look at how much gold he has already towards this blink. It's it's like when we see these Magnus supports and they kind of wow. just get given a lane to farm up. Yeah, he's got that energy booster queued up, but yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see him just kind of skip it and wait for that blink timing. Liquid looking to take this top tower here as they position themselves aggressively around it, basically challenging Alliance to come forwards here. And uh, they have this ward down as well to give them a lot of vision of the surrounding area. Very well set up to try and take this tower as uh, Boxer comes forwards. Will not link with that plasma field though, and uh, Liquid, they're getting the tower pretty low here. It's, it's very difficult for Liquid to try and force these towers down. They don't really have a great way of doing it. Uh, GH hasn't got this Helm of the Dominator yet. He's uh, kind of lacking in farm a little bit. Just Sorry, in the bottom lane. Going to get open wounds up. And with the Iron Shell as well, is ripping through him pretty quickly there. He's going to need help, but there's none coming. He does make it to the trees. All oh, the Infest Bomb. It's not quite enough. Still playing around with this. Oh, Dara. What? Did he actually juke that out? Matu's gone the complete wrong way. He expected him to follow the dagger trail. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. He's going to get spotted in the trees. Korea is going to get anything helpful. The dagger up into the sides. He's still duking it out, but finally they will get this kill as the Iron Shell takes him away. Kuroki comes in as well to help out with that one. Quake for looking to punish, but I'm not sure there's anything to punish here, to be honest. And uh, they will let them get away with that one. He was duking that for a long, long time. Did they just not have TPs? I was just about to ask the same question. I didn't check, but I'm assuming that nobody had a TP. Otherwise, I'd be livid if I was the Spectre. <laughs> Cheeky 10-minute first blood, by the way. So. Yeah, yeah, 10-minute first blood. That's the latest I have ever seen, I think, as uh, Tiger. Maybe not, maybe not that much. I don't know. <laughs> Got some pretty slow games in my time. Uh, and Tiger, I, I think he was just like, yeah, I'm not TPing. I'm staying top to get my Blink Dagger. Miracle's still trying to get this top tier one being forced in. They've got the Catapult, so it would have been yeah. nice for them to try and use that, but Unfortunately, just gets mired up by the Razor. No real uh, commitment to this push anymore. They really need the level 6 on the Warlock to start making plays here. And they need this Blink on the Sanking as well. When they get those two things between them, they can they can absolutely just take these 5-5 five and five team fights. But until then, it's uh, it's a little bit difficult. Yeah, they have put in Sanya mid for the time being to try and get him that level 6. And uh, get him the ability to get in. And uh, get some violence. Also, like in the uh, Max Fatal Bonds here as well. Very nice. Yeah, absolutely. We talked about how good of a Fatal Bonds game it is with all their AoE damage. So, definitely want to be maxing that one first. You'll probably see him just leave the two points in Shadow Word now uh, and just max the Fatal Bonds, then max up the upheaval afterwards. Oh, Boxy could be in some trouble here as the uh, Frostbite comes out. We'll be able to make it back to the tower, Ooh. though, and the epicenter as well, going to scare them away for the time being. So there's not going to be any advance from Liquid, although I say that Miracle's coming forwards. He still wants to try and go for the cheeky adaptive strike. He's just about going to be in range. Oh, 50 HP on Boxy, but Miracle Dyer's will not find it. And uh, let's say another failed kill, but another tower in the bottom lane as uh, Mind Control gets bottom lane. I don't think top tower is very long for this world as they uh, get started on it. And Kuroki's... 
Okay. They don't have any detection. So they're basically just saying, maybe we'll get you. <laughs> well, observe some sentries are delivered, but they're in the backpack, so Tiger's just going to TP away from this one. GH already used the midnight pulse. I was really hoping GH would just black Ooh. hole there to try and cancel the TP, I'll be honest. That was. Uh... That would have been the, uh, the alpha male play. <laughs> Yeah, until you miss it, just because he, he just got his TP off before, then you, uh, yeah, everyone just laughs at you. Then true, true. But that's the thing. If you, if you do, if you do land it, then you're just a complete, you know. Yeah, I knew, I knew. No problems. He's actually skipping the uh, Helmo Dom on the Enigma this game, just going straight for a pipe instead. That's interesting. Mm. Um, obviously, it's a very good pipe game up against all this magic damage from the Warlock, the Sand King, you know, even the Ember and the Razor as well. So. I also think that when you see this uh, Midas on the Razor, it kind of destroys what the Helm of Dom really wants to do. You can just, you know, Midas that creep, get free 200 gold every time. So. Kind of a wasted item at that point if you build it. Yeah, yeah. And also, you know, he's this four position. He is not farm priority. He's not going to be getting that much. So he does just want to get the pipe up earlier than uh, he would do without it. <laughs> there you go. He just takes the creep. Yep. That's exactly why you don't want to build the Helm of Dom. <laughs> I love it when it's you so say point, they just, about that. They, they just do it for you straight illustrate away. Illustrate it for you. Yeah, it's beautiful, yeah. isn't it? That, that centaur, so full of optimism, he goes charging, surged into the enemy team, and then just immediately dies. Put out of its misery. Golly. All right, let's have a look at, uh, I don't know, farm CS to see what's going on here. So you have the, the Razor, unsurprisingly, um, doing pretty well on the old CS charts and uh, doing pretty well on net worth as well, especially with this Midas going to be paying itself off soon. Uh, heading towards this mechanism. Maybe yeah. going for the full Greed series. He's still got brown boots. There is a blink on the Sand King, and Warlock's got a smoke all on him. Right, so. All right, all right, level six on Warlock. Yep, this feels like a timing to me. This feels like the the timing which Alliance have been looking for this game with this draft, and they're looking towards middle lane. Miracle would be a great target, but a hard one to bring down. Oh, there's an Invis rune though. Oh, they are Save gonna them, be. Yeah. That's that's difficult, but there's there's four heroes running in the top lane onto Razor here. Boxy could be in some trouble as Matu comes surging in. He's going to notice multiple people here immediately going in with a static link and forcing Matu Mimim back. Frostbite comes out. Boxy's still looking forward, and these four heroes are actually backing off now. I think this is just pure respect. They're saying, all right, we know that you've got level six on Warlock. I'm not quite sure they'll predict the blink they are on Sand King. But they, they, they definitely they, know they'll have seen They'll have seen that he still has brown boots on the Sand King, though, so they'll be expecting him to have a blink at some point relatively soon, you know, whether it's now or in a couple of minutes. So they will be a little bit more wary, I imagine. It's yeah. just a shame that that Morphling picked up an Invisarine there, otherwise that could have been the biggest kill on the map at the moment for Alliance. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. But then again, do you, do you want to use Golem and... Uh, for Yeah, you absolutely do. Never mind. I, I mean, they have the Burrow Strike. Burrow Strike in, Tiger. They're going for um, the Tomb of Men here. He's going to pop the Rage. They also get the Bounty Rune, so no matter what happens, they already get that at least. Obviously, coming forward, he's managed to deal 87 damage here. Now, Madara roots in it as well as the Rage has already been used, and they will be able to tear the Tomb of Men apart. Looking towards Groki now as he TPs in a Miracle as well. Turning into the Ember Spirit and fighting up into Quakefer here with the Adaptive Strike at the Waveform. It is too much damage, but in comes the Golem with the Fatal Bonds as well. It's Miracle. so much damage for the Black Hole to turn it around. Miracle just standing and fighting his ground as they take down Tiger. Now looks towards Boxy as well. GH in the trees dropping low. Will be able to get himself away, but the Fatal Bonds and the hit from Madara finishes the job. Meanwhile, Quakefer backs himself away. And that is going to be three heroes dead on the side of Liquid here. Alliance taking a great fight with this level six timings. That's what that they is... were looking for. That is, yeah, that's the engagement they were looking for, but they have to be super careful now. They have used Haunt, they've used the Golem, they've used the Epicenter. They have nothing now for the next two minutes or so, and they have to be super careful about what they do in these next two minutes. Now, Liquid are going to want to try and be really aggressive here. You see Miracle in the mid lane already pushing forward. Yeah, they're looking for Madara. Madara out of mana. Uh, Boxy going to come in and help kind of scan them away now as that Rage up on the team. And then going to force back Boxy as well. So everybody just kind of playing around each other here. You can tell they're kind of spooped. Yeah, they've just got to be trying to make something happen here on Liquid. Yes, they use Black Hole. Um, and they've got a return kit on the Sand King at least. But I, I guess Liquid aren't too too worried about just farming up still. I mean, nobody's worried about farming up this game, are they? They're all just... No. <laughs> Even Boxy's hanging casually. back with his Midas. Like, yep, this is cool, from, cool by me. I was, I was hoping for some, like, Dyer's really, like, action-packed game between me, like Liquid Alliance... Like these two teams come up against each other, our first qualifier of the major, and they just oh, you're they gonna all get just it. want to farm. You're going to get it. It's going to be 35 minutes in, but they, they will start fighting. <laughs> I, it's I one wish of those games best of luck just... trying to uh, follow these late game team fights, because there's going to be some uh, some crazy <laughs> things going on. Thanks, I'll, I'll, I'll do my best, but yeah, this, uh, <laughs> there's, there's a lot of ultimates coming down.
You know, like in, in most games, you're casting, you're like, oh, good, there's an enigma, so I have to focus on the black hole. And, uh, and this game, it's like, oh, they have to focus on the black hole. Oh, and the uh, the golem as well. Oh, and don't forget the uh, the epicenter. And... Uh, something I want to point Obviously, out here, by the way. Obviously, crystal maiden ulti. Never forget the Oh, yeah, of course. Huge I mean, the 20 hours. How do you kill her? True. You're literally unkillable. Uh, Matsu here. Being chased down. They, he's, used, he's used rage. I don't think they realize this, though. They're trying to bait the rage out of him, and he doesn't have it, but that's kind of the best bait of all, I he guess. Matsu dropping low. Yeah, toggling through that armor is somehow surviving this engagement. The uh, Slat of Fist will not get lucky. Meanwhile, Tiger goes down in the middle lane as a three man rotation from Liquid finds that kill. Uh, something I want to point out quickly as well is this Ember skill build. Um, you tend to see this Max Slat of Fist build now, but the common thing to do at the moment is just to keep two points in chains. If you look at the cooldown of both skills, Chains has a 12 second cooldown at level 2, and Slight of Fist has a 6 second cooldown at level 4. So basically, you can alternate between using a Slight of Fist just to harass and then a Slight of Fist to use Chains afterwards. Huh. It's, wow, that's you know, some great maths there. Nice numbers. Yeah. Never noticed that before. Thank you. Learning with Mo Farah is fine. So, mind control on this uh, this Dark Sea. Oh, yeah, don't, don't forget the wall as well, which hasn't actually leveled up yet, which uh, is. Pretty common on the darks here. Wait until, although usually you get a point in it at level eleven, but apparently, mind control it, even even decided not to you, do that. You do you do sometimes, but this game it's not a great wall game. Like there's not really anybody that you you care about stealing from. It's not like anybody's built a pipe or anything either, or like some kind of aura item. I guess the greaves on Razor is it's like okay, but yeah, you're gonna have your own greaves on the darks here anyway soon. So. Industry. Yeah, that's true. And uh, let's just do a quick recap of the items. As uh, Koikver's still struggling to come back into this game. Look at how far down he is on the net. Well, I think he's sick. Oh, Burrow Strike in. They've got the Crystal Maiden, but in a black hole for a response from GH. Then Mike cancelled up by the Golem. Haruki's still surviving through this somehow as a Horde comes out, but it's Koikver who's getting low in the middle. Will have to get himself away from this one, but there's a wall coming in from behind. Tiger's going to go down as well as Koikver. And the two man looking for Insania. We want the backside of the fight. They will be able to force out the rest as uh, Mind Control finishes off Insania. No big surprise there. And then now, well, Boxy's still fighting up with Matuma Man here as he goes in for the blocks and uh, now chasing forwards with Slight of Fist. And the chains come out. Boxy will purge him off quickly with the Guardian's Grease, but I don't think he's getting out of this one. Chasing him on the tower here. The lightning, all the lightning in the world's not going to save you here, buddy. Down he goes. Miracle gets the kill. And Liquid take a murderous fight in the middle lane. And don't forget, this was the golem fight. This They didn't get Epicenter off, but this was a fight where they dropped the golem, the horn, everything was used. And they still lost the fight. This is going to be a tier two then into a Roche, I imagine, here from Liquid. This is, uh, I think, yeah, this is I detrimental. Mean, you, can just, you can just carry on farming up and putting on the aggression if you want, but I know when the Warlock Golem's down, especially, I think taking the Roche fight would be so much easier. I, uh, one thing we, one thing we haven't talked about this game, by the way, is obviously the uh, Golem interaction against the Black Hole. So it's really difficult for GH to actually ever get a Black Hole on. So I'd be very surprised if you went. If he built like Blink BKB at any point this game, because the Golem obviously pierces the magic community anyway. So. Yeah. Is he it kind works. of using it here to just kind of get it used out the way nice and quickly before it can be kind of used to maybe get a kill on a core? If you just, if you're using it to cancel Black Hole and he doesn't really want to use Black Hole <laughs> anyway, if the Golem's up, then yeah, you you kind, kind of, of a just. Weird one. I mean, there's no point in just not throwing it. So you might as well just you know try and lock somebody down, at least force the Golem out, and maybe a point Alliance don't really want to use it. Exactly. Exactly. Well, they are getting to work on Roshan fairly quickly with the double damage room on the Morphling as well. Going to be going down very, very fast. And this is going to be now an Aegis on Miracle as well as this Morphling is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. He's not afraid. He's just going to wave up onto the high ground. Did they even have vision of that? They did not. He's cool. He's, uh, he's, I he's feeling confident. I don't know if you saw in the last team fight as well. Um, Madara popped Haunt on the Spectre and he started to go on oh. Kuroki. <laughs> and then Kuroki popped Freezing Field. And that was it. You couldn't kill him anymore. If Razor had used Plasma Field there, they would have got an Aegis, by the way. Oh. Yeah. Never mind. Okay. Sometimes, yeah. I mean, the, the Burrow Strike came out when the Immortal was on full Agi and they just... I don't know. I'm just chilling. Yeah. they got a farm, dude. Everyone's got a farm, this game. Well, except Mandara, who's hanging out in the trees. Oh, he's just chilling. What's GH building next? That's what I don't know. Oh, he's actually building BKB. That's interesting. Mm, okay. I mean, it's still okay against all the magic damage coming out from Alliance's side, but I, I guess when the Darks is building utility items as well, you're kind of overlapping with what you want to build. Pipe into BKB. This guy does not like magic. Anti-mage? 
Is that you? Oh, bottom okay. lane. They're going on to Madara here with the freezing field coming out as well. Bow Strike will cancel it, but Mind Control just hitting him down here with the Ion Shell. But Madara will make it into the trees. They turn their attention to Tiger instead as Miracle blows him up with an adaptive strike. Tanking taken care of and Liquid get a kill in the bottom lane, but it's not quite the one they wanted. But Madara did TP in. Oh, he actually doesn't have a TP in his inventory at all. So he's going to be sitting here for a good while whilst he gets that Spectral Dagger back up. Yeah, they've been really struggling to make things happen on Alliance here. Like, Apart from if they can get these good five and five, five on five engagements, and they have really good team fights, but in terms of like single pickoffs, it's really difficult for them to ever get anything done. It feels like because they're so scared to do things while their ultimates are down. Tower gonna fall, go the way of miracle. Are they looking for high ground here? They're not slowing down here. This is worrying for Alliance. I don't think they're equipped to defend this one just yet. I mean, they have their Aegis still. Or Link just got used and it got cancelled by the Lincolns on the morph, so... Ooh. Yeah, that's that's certainly going to help things. 22 seconds until this Link is back up, but they don't have a quick wave to work with on Alliance. Oh no, Liquid, sorry. This Razor, f razor feels so underwhelming for the start that he had. He's like second in net worth, but he just has Greaves Midas. Like, he can't really do too much on the map. He can't really play aggressively. Obviously, Look at maybe that. in some trouble here, but no. Going to force back the side of Liquid here as they're just focusing on this tower right now. And the tier 3 is just gone. Burrow strike through onto 2. That's a nice opening here. It's a Fatal Bond's coming out as well. Doing a ton of damage to the two cores here. But they can just kind of heal up pretty quickly. Tiger's blown up on the sidelines. Miracle just finding hit after hit with the adaptive strikes. Tiger just trying to be cheeky. Stay in the trees, but gets punished. The interesting thing is that they still didn't drop Golem for that because those two cores on the front line, they just weren't going to get those kills. The Doom of Man Ooh, coming Boxy forward. Boxy being eaten up here. So much damage coming out from this, guys. As they blow up one, they look towards the Ember Spirit as well. Frostbite, and that's another kill going the way of Liquid here. Just killing Alliance inside their own base right now. 9k gold advantage oh, coming up on them. And Insania dead to come out of base. Goodbye, Warlock as well. Liquid going to town here. Or should I say Miracle going to town here. And this team just backed them up perfectly. They still have the golem, like they didn't even drop it in that whole fight. They still have epicenter as well. They just can't find these openings that they want on Alliance to be able to get these big engagements. Yeah, yeah, you can you tell. My controller GH are just hanging back, ready for the counter initiation. Of course, and if you use that golem for the initiation, then Enigma's just like, oh, alrighty, thank you very much. I finally get myself a free black hole. I mean, ideally, you really want to be initiating with the Sanking and then using this golem as kind of like the anti black hole spell. But it, it's so difficult. Yeah, I mean, that's what they tried last time, and the Lifestealer and the Morphling just lived through the entire thing, and now they're missing two lanes of racks, and Azania just being jumped in again! Miracle under the tier fours right now! Yeah. The rest of the team backed out, but he is going in. Bow Strike comes through, Morphling taking damage, but just not nearly enough. There's a Haunt even coming out here from the uh, the Dire here. Is he going on the back line, but will get Black Hole. They get him to finish off the kill onto GH, but now Frostbite up. The Spectre just taken out alive. The Epicenter coming through, doing a bit, but not enough. Tiger melted as well. Boxy trying to run himself away. The last surviving member of Alliance. He's going to get beat down as well. Doesn't look like there's any hope left for the Alliance squad as Liquid go in for the tier fours right now. Oh my god. Liquid, they just flipped the switch. They saw their timings and they dismantled Alliance piece by piece. And mind control. Ball trumps them back inside their base. Yeah, interesting game. I mean, both teams obviously wanted to just get their farm up and going. Alliance, it felt like they didn't really make a play on the map, if that makes sense. Like, all three of their cores, all game, just felt like they wanted to just farm. Like, you saw, like, this lifestyle just running into the jungle sometimes, or like. 